Hi there, my name is Esther. I am from Business Analysis Excellence. I'm going to show you how to do a basic use case diagram. Use case diagrams are part of the Unified Modeling Language UML. It's a very useful way for you to show what functionality will be included within a system. As a business analyst, it's a great tool for you to show your functional requirements in a slightly different way to your stakeholders. So let's have a look at this. First of all, you will have a big rectangular, which is really the boundary of your system. You draw that up and you call your system a name, such as employee management system. Then you basically decide what will be the main pieces of functionality that my system will be showing. In this case, we've got create employee record. That's a piece of functionality we would like our system to be able to do. We would like to be able to update an employee record, print an employee's pay slip, process salary payment and run reports. There are also functionalities such as validating data attributes and calculate annual bonuses that we would like to include. So we've decided in this simple example, these are the seven use cases that our, dog, that our system will be able to do. Then the other thing you need to consider is your actors. These are the users, the end users, that will be using your system. In our case, we have three different ones. We've got HR officer that wants to be able to create employee records and update employee records. We show interactions with a simple straight line to the use cases. The payroll manager wants to process employee payments and print employee slips. Just one point, the HR officer can also potentially want to be able to process um, employee salary payment. It, it doesn't mean that because there's a different actor using it, that this actor cannot use it as well. Just in this example, I noticed that every actor has got their exclusive use cases. They can share functionality like they would in a normal system. Then, of course, we've got these other two use cases in our example that doesn't actually have any lines going to any actors. This simply means that these pieces of functionality will be done by the system in the back end. It's not a piece of functionality that will be directly interacted with the end user or an actor within the system. So let's have a quick look and see what is the different relationships between these use cases. So we now understand this is simply a user using that particular piece of functionality. So what is this thing? This link between the validate data attributes use case and the create employee record use case is what we call an association that is referred to as uses or in some other notations you can use this as include. This basically means that the main use case which is this user interface one create employee record will in every set in every time this use case is, is executed or used it will call on this functionality validate data attributes. So this piece of functionality gets defined in its own right because it's quite significant therefore it's being pulled aside and we would like to in every set in every time this use case create employee record is executed we will actually do validate data attributes. That is then a uses. I use you every single time I execute. Then we've also got another type of relationship here called extends. That's an association between the main use case process employee salary payment and calculate annual bonus. This type of relationship, again, the calculate annual bonus is a back-end functionality that will not be used directly by any actor or user of the system. However, under certain criteria, certain circumstances, this piece of functionality, calculate annual bonus, will in fact be used by process employee salary payment. It will not be used every single time process employee salary payment is executed, but when certain criteria is true, it will be called upon. So that is the difference between these two different types of associations. In the case of validate data requirements, 
This use case is always, every single time create employee record is, is called, this, this validate data attributes will be called and therefore it's a uses or an include association. But the difference here is with calculate annual bonus, only when certain criteria are met will this main function, this main use case process employee salary payment called the calculate annual bonus. So that's an, in a nutshell what a use case diagram is like, what it's all about. It shows functionality. It typically only shows nine use cases per diagram. So just a quick tip, in case you've got a, quite a huge system, you might notice that you need to do a few different diagrams that shows different areas or modules within a system. Just do the same thing. Show seven to nine use cases within your um, use case diagram and just label it employee management system module XYZ and break it down that way. Best of luck and enjoy your use case diagrams.